is time. Time to go live. I'm going to be able to answer your calls. My friend, my shameless stock. I tell you, bye-bye, bye, self-sell. Jim Curtin, you're not a little cold stock. I don't know. My staff is going to be able to play this out. And then the lightning round is over. Are you ready, Ski Daddy? Time for the lightning round. Kramer is my show with Penny in California. Penny. Jim Kramer, thank you for the knowledge and the encouragement you provide. Well, just out there trying. Know, thank you. I'm sorry? I want to know if Novacure NVCR is a buy, sell, or hold. Well, they it's should. You know, I've featured them many times, and I've got to tell you, I was hoping that they would start making money, and they, they don't make money. And at a certain point, I made a decision on this show that I was not going to recommend stocks that lose hideous amounts of money. And I am not changing my mind. I'm not going back on that. Let's go to Kevin in Arizona. Kevin. 110 degree Arizona. Booyah, Jim. Booyah, back at you. What's going on? So about three years ago, I picked up some PayPal. Now my largest holding by far. 22% down. But I have confidence in Alex, Chris, and his team doing well doing my homework. Should I hold it until it gets to my cost basis of 80 or sell early? Do you know I was going to say the same thing? I said, since Alex Chris has come in, I've gotten renewed faith in PayPal. I know that there's a lot of competition. But this man, this gentleman, seems like he really knows what he's doing. I would hold on to it, but I wouldn't want to buy more until I see more better numbers. Let's go to Alex in New York. Alex. Booyah, Jim. Booyah. Since, since NVIDIA's Blackwell requires 100% liquid cooling, wouldn't HPE be a winner going forward given their liquid cooling advantage? Uh, 100%. And I've got to tell you, I was, uh, until I saw this quarter, I did not know how well they're doing. I think it is just a terrific situation. I know I was going back and forth with my friend Herb Greenberg, uh, who's got this Wall Street beat set. It's kind of a really cool thing that he does. He used to work with me at the street. And they have a lot of positive commentary about Hewlett Packard Enterprise. I think it does go higher, even though it is at a 52 week high. Let's go to Max in New York. Max. Booyah, Jim. Booyah. So I called you on May 6th about AeroVironment, AVA. Okay. Uh, wanted to know if I should continue holding it. I know that they're going into earnings at the end of the month. Well, it's, got, it's had a very big run. Now, we do know um, that, that that President Biden was uh, over in Europe, and they're talking about, uh, obviously, there's a new deal. AeroVironment's going to get more money, I believe. It's an expensive stock, but I would hold on to it. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the conclusion of the Lightning Round. The Lightning Round is sponsored by Charles Schwab. Coming up, what will Elon Musk's pay package mean for Tesla's ability to compete? Start your engines with mad money next. Don't miss a second of mad money. Follow at Jim Kramer on X. Have a question? Tweet Kramer. Hashtag Mad Mentions. Send Jim an email to madmoney at cnbc.com or give us a call at 1 800 743 CNBC. Miss something? Head to madmoney.cnbc.com.